Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going to be going through question 2.3 of the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper 1 that is written in June 2021. This question for focuses on um, exchange rates. So if you're struggling with doing exchange rates, please stay tuned to the video tutorial and please also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You give this video a huge thumbs up and you also share um, the channel with your friends that are doing mathematics literacy. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video tutorial. <music> Point three, Anela wants to purchase a commercial vegetable slicer to assist with the chopping of the vegetables as shown in the picture below. So this is her, um, the commercial vegetable slicer that she wants to buy, right? The two payment options she can choose from are, sh are also shown below. Uh, so we are given payment option one where she can just simply pay, um, a cash price of 1799 rand right and then you're given payment option two where obviously where obviously um she can pay uh using monthly installments right but she needs to make sure that she pays um a deposit of 20 percent of the cash price right and the monthly installments that she'll have to pay um if she takes on the payment option two is obviously um she'll need to pay 95 rand uh, for 24 months so let's get started use the information above to answer the questions that follow 2.3.1 anela is thinking of using payment option to calculate the deposit amount that she has to pay so we want to calculate how much um the amount of deposit that anela needs to pay if she uses the payment option two right so the cash price right is a thousand um seven hundred and ninety nine a rand right and we are told that the deposit is twenty percent of the cash price right so we simply gonna take one thousand seven hundred and ninety nine rand right and you multiply with the twenty percent right to get how much deposit um she will need to pay okay so you calculate 1799 which is equal to 359 rand and 80 cents so this is the deposit amount that Oanele um needs to pay okay sorry this is a let's go to b determine rounded to the nearest rand the total amount Anela will have paid for the vegetable slices, uh, slicer after 24 months. So we basically, if she decides to obviously go for the payment option number two, we need to determine how much, okay, will she have paid for the vegetable slice after 24 months, right? One thing you need to uh, realize, guys, in this question is that firstly, Anela pays a deposit. After paying the deposit, then she starts paying the monthly installments of 95 Rand for 24 months, right? So, you simply take the deposit that she pays, right? So, she starts off by paying the deposit, right? Which is 359 Rand and 80 cents. Plus, right, she pays the monthly installments of 95 Rand for 24 months, right? Plus the 95 Rand multiplied by the 24 months right so it's 95 rand multiplied by 24 is equal to I'm just going to rewrite that so it's going to be 359 rand 80 cents plus right 2280 so for 24 months she will pay she would have paid 2280 80 rand right so to get the total amount that she would have now paid right you're going to take the 200 the the 359.80 plus 2280 and we find that the total amount that she uh, would have paid for her vegetable slicer is 2639 rand and 80 cents 
but they want us to round off to the nearest rand which is 2640 rand okay we are done question 2.2.3 Anela's brother tony who lives in the united states of america um decided to send her money right to buy the vegetable slicer using payment option one okay table seven below shows the exchange rate of south africa in relation to the currencies of other countries right okay so this is a table that basically shows the exchange rates right and exchange rate guys is the value of one currency right relative to the value of another currency right so how much of one currency you need to have to be able to obtain another um currency right so let's just have a look at this for example to be able to have or to get one us dollar you will need basically 14 rand and 87 cents to be able to get one euro right you will need 16 rand and 35 cents to be able to get one pound you will need 19 rand and 28 cents and to be able to get one yen you will need zero rand and 13 cents right so this is basically the exchange rates that are given to you guys and obviously this is basically the same this and this is the same the only difference is here is that they've basically divided let me show you guys what they've done so for one rand you need 0 0.067 um, us dollars right so for example let me just show you what they did here in this table okay i said that for one us dollar okay you need 14 rand and 87 cents right and then i so basically what they did on this side is they've divided the rands with the dollar so one divided by 14.87 right right so if you take that one one and you divide it by 14.87 you find that you'll have 0 0.0672 us dollar is equal to one rand right so they've basically just swapped these around okay so please do not be uh, confused by that right okay so let us just focus on so it, it's basically up to you what you want to look at. Do you want to focus on this part of the table? Or do you want to focus on the other part of the table? But it's basically the same thing. Okay. So use the information in table 7 above to answer the questions that follow. Explain what the term exchange rate means. Right. So exchange rate is the value of one currency relative to the value of another currency. Right. So that is what exchange rate means means okay there's going to be identify the currency that is weaker than the rand okay so how will we be able to see that a currency is weaker than the rand let's just have a look at you for one rand you will need one rand gives you 0 0.06 us dollars right so you basically get less for your rand right one rand gives you 0 0.06 us dollars right one rand gives you 0 0.06 euros one rand gives you 0 0.05 pounds but here look at here one rand gives us 7.38 yen okay so that already tells us that the currency of the yen is weaker than the rand because you get more for your rand okay for one rand we got se we we get seven point um three eight right so we we see that obviously the yen is is weaker okay so from here one rand gives us seven point three eight six yen so that already tells us that the yen is a weaker currency than the rand because you get more from just one rand okay but if you compare it with the other ones you got less right you got zero 0.6 you got 0 0.6 but here you got seven so that already tells us that this currency is is weaker than the rand okay so 2.3.2 uh, b you can just say the yen 
or the Japanesian. Okay. And C, Tony sent Anele um 130 us dollars determine rounded to the nearest rand the amount anele received from otoni right so this is 2.3.2 c okay so otoni sent anele 130 dollars so we basically need to convert these dollars into rands. So let's just have a look at our conversions here, right? We are told that one US dollar is equal to 14.87 rand. Okay. So one dollar is equal to 14.87. 87 rand right so then guys again we start what do we want we want our amount in rands okay into rands right so we're going to take the 130.00 multiply by what you want to get which is the amount in rands which is 14.87 divided by what we what we have right which is the dollars which is the one dollar right so we're going to use this conversion right think of what we want right okay and what we have okay we want to convert the 130 dollars into rands right so we want to convert it into rands therefore we multiply it by the 14.87 rands and you divide it by what we have which is the dollars we have dollars so we're going to divide it by the one okay and then you simply punch that into your calculator multiplied by 14.87 divided by one which is 1933 rand and 10 cents okay so that's your dollar that's your dollar the dollars cancel right and what do you want which is rands so 130 dollars okay over multiplied by 14 rand 0.87 over one dollar the dollars cancel and you will be able to get your 1933 rand and 10 cents all right guys so that is it for today's tutorial where we went through question two of the math grade 12 mathematics literacy um june um 2021 paper one i hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial and i hope i made everything easy and simple for you to understand please make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys are not and please feel free uh, to jump into the comments and suggest topics that you guys would love for me to tackle um in mathematics literacy that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload we are going to be tackling question three of this paper that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.